Jeremiah Nelson. I go to Kutztown University. I actually graduate from Kutztown University Mall. Uh, but I play running back. I'm six foot, 240. What goals did you set and or accomplish in your final collegiate season? Uh, well, for my final season, I actually wasn't able to play. Um, I wasn't granted an extra year by the NCAA for my COVID year when I was at uh, Temple in 2020. Uh, the goals I have from my team first, I want to say, is because last year we got real close to the national championship. So uh, that big goal was just getting to that national championship, getting past that threshold uh, that we, you know, got cut short at with the Hail Mary that happened last year. But um, that was one big goal, was just to get to the national ch championship and win. Um, but my personal goal, I mean, I wanted to leave here and be the number one rushing running back in yards in any aspect possible. I want to be the best in everything. So. I mean, that's definitely what I want to do on my team as much as possible, whether that was blocking, passing, whatever. What would your coaches and teammates say about the type of player you are? Um, I feel like my coaches and the players on my team feel like I'm a leader, a natural born leader. You know, I'm real passionate about the sport uh, and just about everything I want to do in life, period. Um, I feel like they'll know that I play hard. And, you know, um, I'm always going to make something happen, you know, whether our back is against the wall. I'm going to be the one that's, you know, willing to pick everybody up no matter what the score says or what the situation is, you know. I always feel like it's never too late to, you know, correct any wrongs that are made. And I always believe that, you know, me and my guys are going to come out on top. So I believe my uh, teammates believe that as well as my coaches. When you're studying film, what are the things you focus on to improve your game? Uh, well, as a running back, it's very important to uh, first look up at, at front. Uh, see what the D-line is doing, uh, whether they stun a lot or what type of defense they're running in general. But a lot of our reads are based on, you know, the linebackers. So I feel like a key thing I watch when I'm watching film is basically see if the linebackers overflow, uh, find out what their reads, their tendencies are, and uh, what they tend to do when they're under pressure or even when, you know, the game is just starting out, how they like to be overly aggressive or, you know, just flow different ways. I feel like learning your opponent and uh, keying on their tendencies is real important, uh, especially when I'm watching film. What separates you from the other pro prospects at your position? Uh, one, I'm a dog. Uh, anything that's in front of me, I'm a conqueror. Uh, I'm going to take advantage of every opportunity that's set in front of me. Uh, I'm a big back, but I could do everything that you know smaller backs could do and more. So I feel like I have a lot to my game and a lot to contribute, especially in the position I'm at right now. What is your off-season plan to train and prepare for professional opportunities? Uh, well, my off-season uh, plan is I'm going to be training at APEC and Fort Worth, Dallas. So. I actually leave on January 4th, and that's why I'm going to be doing my pre-draft fest. So I'm going to be down there for the months to lock in uh, before my pro day. And uh, it's going to be full football. Everything's football, you know. Uh, I'm going to be around a great group of guys, uh, definitely high-caliber athletes, and some of the great trainers out there, which is why I wanted to go out there. So definitely going to be out there locked in and taking care of business. It's the main thing. What kind of strengths and abilities will you bring to a team that will stand out both on and off the field? First leadership. Um, I feel like I've been through a lot of my life. Well, I know I've been through a lot of my life. And uh, some of the trials and tribulations I've been through uh, forced me to be a leader in a lot of ways. And it forced me to be more wise when it comes to certain situations. So I feel like, um, you know, without me even forcing it naturally, I feel like a lot of guys, you know, tend to be around me. And I like to be around my, my uh, teammates and brothers as well. You feel me? Just to get that natural feel. So I feel like leadership is a big one. Um, a hard worker that's willing to risk everything for, you know, the dream that he had since he was a kid, you know, I've been working for this for a long time. Been an underdog for years, and you know, I'm ready. Like, I'm ready, most definitely. So uh, they're gonna get a, a kid that's hungry, and that's gonna come and take it all. So that's one of the biggest things. What is your final pitch in the NFL and any other pro leagues? Um, my final pitch is, man, take a chance on a kid that has been through a lot. You feel what I'm saying? Has a lot to fight for. Um, you know, this is not just a sport to me, like this is a way of life. And uh, whether, you know, anyone sees it or not, I won't stop until I get what I know is destined for me and I know that God has planned for me. So I would want to be a part of anyone who believes in me, and anyone who's willing to take that chance and they will get every single inch of not only my body to play for the sport, but my soul. So I'm willing to come in and do whatever. You know, I'm ready. You know, whoever gets me is gonna get a dog that's hungry for everything.